Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to manually blink an LED, and then we'll modify the code so that the LED automatically blinks at a specified rate. So let's jump into LabVIEW and get started. In LabVIEW, I'll click Help and Find Examples. This brings up the LabVIEW Example Finder. I'll click the Search tab, and in the Keywords section, I'll type links and press enter. This brings up all of the links examples and is a great place to start if you're new. I'll click links blink simple. This is a simple blink example that we ran at the end of the firmware wizard in the last example. I'll double click to open it and then I'll close the example finder. Under serial port, I'll choose COM3, which is my red board, and then I'll run the VI by clicking the run arrow. When I run the VI, you'll notice the TX and RX lights start flashing and almost appear to be solid. This means that LabVIEW is communicating with the redboard. When I left click the Boolean control on the front panel, you can see the blue LED turns on. And if I click it again, it turns off. So we can manually blink an LED. I'll click the stop button and press control E to bring up the block diagram so we can look at the code. You'll see first we establish a connection to the redboard using the links init VI. All we have to tell it is a serial port to connect to. Inside the loop, we call the digital write one channel VI. We pass it the digital output channel, in this case 13, and a Boolean value, true to turn the LED on, false to turn it off. Up top, there's a helper VI that tells us the loop rate. This isn't necessary, but sometimes it's nice to know. On the bottom, we OR the stop button output with the error cluster. This stops the loop if the user presses the stop button or if an error occurs. Outside the loop, we call the links close VI. It's important to call the links close VI at the end of your application to free the visa resource. Without this, the Redboard's COM port would be reserved by visa and we couldn't use it again until we closed it, either by restarting LabVIEW or by resetting the redboard. Finally, we call a simple error handler. This reports any errors to the user so they can take action if necessary. Before modifying any of the VIs from the LabVIEW example finder, it's a good idea to save a copy somewhere so you don't modify the original. You can do this by clicking File and Save As. If you accidentally modify any of the links examples, don't worry, you can either reinstall the toolkit or you can just grab a copy of that example from GitHub. Let's modify this code to automatically blink the LED at a given rate. We can use shift registers to store a value from iteration to iteration and use that value to toggle the LED. We'll want this to be a Boolean value since we're using a digital output. So let's start by adding a false constant outside of our loop to initialize our shift register. I'll right click and choose Boolean false constant and place it on the block diagram. Then I'll right click on the edge of the while loop and choose add shift register. I'll wire the false control into the shift register. Then I want to delete the control that we used to use to manually toggle the LED. And I'll press control B to clean up that wire fragment. Then I'll wire the output of the shift register into the digital write one channel. We don't need to change the channel at all. So we'll leave that as it is. This will set our output to false every time the loop executes, but we want to toggle the state of the LED. So let's add a not. I'll right click to bring up the functions palette and choose Boolean and not. And I'll place this just below the digital right. I'll wire the output of the left shift register into the not and the output of the not into the right shift register. Now each loop iteration, we'll take a Boolean value and pass it to the digital right. We'll also invert that value and use it in our next loop iteration. The last thing we need to do is add timing so that we can control the rate at which the LED blinks. Otherwise, this loop will execute as fast as it can. I'll scroll up and expand the while loop to give us a little bit more room. Then I'll use quick drop by pressing control space to place a wait. On the left side on the input, I'll right click and create a 
control. And I'll call it delay. I'll double click on that delay control to find it on the front panel. And I'll move it where our LED control used to be. Let's start out with a one second delay. So 1000 milliseconds. I'll click the run arrow in the upper left to run the VI. We'll watch for the RX and TX lights to start flashing. There they go. And you can see the blue LED on pin 13 is toggling on and off once a second. Since our delay is inside the loop, we can modify it without stopping the VI. I'll double click and I'll change this to 500 milliseconds. When I press enter, you'll notice the light blinks twice as fast. Let's try again with 50 milliseconds. And you can see the light flashes very quickly. I'll click stop to stop the VI and that'll do it. We started by manually blinking an LED and then modified the code to automatically blink that LED at a specified rate. In the next section, we'll learn how to control multiple LEDs. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.